Ah, you are awake, vampire. Finally. I was so worried I had killed you for real, with how long you took to wake up. I couldn't be sure, since your heart doesn't beat, alive or completely dead. But I'm sure you knew that. So, did you sleep well? I hope you did, because we're going to have a very long talk. I need some answers, and I'm pretty sure you have them. Oh, are you in pain? I'm sorry, I shot you with holy water-soaked bullets. I had to make you sleep somehow, so I could tie you up to have a conversation with you and guarantee my safety at the same time. That's why I pretended to be attacked by a wild animal, and screamed my lungs out until you appeared. I really wasn't sure this would work, so I even hurt my arm, so you would be able to smell my blood. I'm glad it worked. And here we are, finally. I can't take the bullets out yet. I know they hurt, but that's what's keeping you from regaining all your strength and attacking me. Sure, you say you won't hurt me, but I can't trust you, even if I want to. You're a vampire, after all. Drinking human blood is basically in your nature. Even if you feed only from animals, like I know you do, it's still in your nature to go after what smells better. And at the moment, I'm sure my blood is what smells the best around here. So we'll be keeping the holy bullets inside you for now. Hmm. You're right. It seems like you'll pass out again because of how weak you are right now. I can't let that happen after waiting all this time to talk to you. I shot you three times, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take two of the bullets out and leave one inside. Just to make sure you're awake enough to talk to me, but too weak to hurt me in any way. And it makes me uncomfortable to see you in pain. Hmm? No, I didn't say anything. Now, let me take the bullets out. I have to use my own fingers, so... Hang in there, vamp. I know it hurts. I'm sorry. It'll just take a few more seconds. That's it. That's it. Now the second one. Oh, this one is quite deep. Poor thing. You look like you're in so much pain right now. It's almost over. Almost there. And... Got it. All right, it's over. I took them out. You probably feel better already, hmm? Thought so. Don't forget you have a last one inside there, and if you try anything funny, I'll put some more in you. My gun is nice and full, so don't make me use it on you, please. Now, Let's start, shall we? First of all, do you know who I am? No. Then why are you looking at me like that? Like you know who I am. Like you missed me. Don't look away. I can see your eyes watering. I can see you're trying not to cry. 
Why is that? Lift your head and look at me. Now. I'm going to ask again. Do you or do you not know who I am? Of course you do. I knew it. We know each other. For years now, I've been having strange dreams and visions. Dreams where we swear our love to each other. Visions where we worship one another. Memories where all I see is you and you alone. But how is that possible if this is the first time I've ever seen you in all my life? How? In the beginning, I tried to ignore it. I really did. But then I started to miss you. To miss your company, your smile, your touch. I missed someone who I've never met before. Strange, isn't it? I fell in love with someone who I wasn't sure even existed. While I was in a library one day, I found a romance novel about reincarnations, and something clicked inside me. Suddenly, everything made sense. After that, I decided to contact someone who could help me see more of this past life I longed for with such intensity. We did a few unsuccessful sessions, until I finally saw it. A new memory. Unfortunately, that memory wasn't like the happy ones I saw in my dreams. I saw you draining me, squeezing me in your arms and sucking my blood like nothing else mattered. You didn't even look sane while doing it. You were completely savage. You were a monster. The monster who killed me. I stopped with the sessions after that. I didn't handle well seeing someone I felt such strong feelings for doing something like that to me. Months went by, and I couldn't forget it. I couldn't forget about the sweet memories about you. I couldn't forget about how you killed me, either. I had a lot of mixed feelings. My curiosity is killing me. What happened? When did it go wrong? Why did you kill me? Did I do something wrong? Was I the problem somehow? How could someone so gentle like you from my memories turn so feral like that? I wanted to find you. I wanted answers from you. I studied and researched the supernatural world, and I turned into a monster hunter just so I could find you. It took years, but I succeeded. I finally found you, and I spent some weeks just observing you, analyzing you, studying you. I noticed that you were very different from all the other vampires that I encountered on my way. You only fed from animals, and very rarely at that. You've barely left this mansion of yours. You seemed oddly sad all the time. After observing you enough, I decided to confront you and make my move. That takes us to right now. So, my answers. What were we in my past life? What happened? 
Why did you kill me? Hey, I'm not mad. For some reason, I think I would never be able to get mad at you. So just answer me, alright? I just need to know what happened. I've dedicated almost all of my life to finding you. So just... just tell me. Ashamed? You? For killing me? Keep going. Explain it to me, so I can understand what you did. Hmm. I see. I... I had no idea. That never even crossed my mind. I had an idea that we were lovers in the past, but to think that we were actually married to each other, that's incredible. So you were going to turn me into a vampire by the end of our honeymoon, did I get that right? And then what went wrong? Uh, you lost control of your thirst and couldn't stop. So that's how I died. It makes sense now. That's why you feel ashamed. That's why you can't look at my face. That's why you're crying. You feel guilty. Isn't that right? You can stop feeling guilty now. I was reborn, and I'm here right now. And I forgive you. Revenge? On you? <laughs> of course not. I never wanted revenge. I just wanted to understand what exactly happened in our past. I just wanted to hear your side of the story. I was probably a little dramatic with the whole holy bullet thing, and all that screaming and bleeding that I caused to catch your attention. But in my defense, I wasn't sure how you'd receive me if I just knocked on your door demanding explanations. And I've faced many feral vampires in my life, so I wasn't sure what kind of vampire you were. Well, I thought you would be pissed at me for shooting you and tying you up, but you seem very calm and pretty, just like in my dreams. I'll let you go now, all right? But no sudden movements, please. Okay, there you go. You're free now. Oh, yes, the last bullet. Let me take that out for you. Come here, dear. Oh, I know. I know it hurts. I'm sorry. Shh, shh, shh. It's over. It's over. The bullet, it's out. You're feeling weak. Oh, 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 there. I got you. Don't worry. Uh, where is your room? I think you need to lay down. All right, hang in there. I'm going to carry you to bed so you can rest. All right, here it is. And lay down. 
Let me cover you with the blankets. Done. Nice and cozy, darling. Hmm? Oh, well, of course I'm being gentle with you. We were married once, and you're feeling bad right now. I wouldn't be cruel or rude to you. I did hurt you when I met you for the first time in this life, though. And for that, I am sorry. I should have approached you more nicely. <sighs> anyway, what's done is done. I won't repeat the same mistakes again. Don't worry. I already said that I forgive you, didn't I? Let's focus on the future. On our future. I want to get to know you better, just like in the past. <laughs> no, I don't hate vampires. I only turned into a hunter to gather enough information to find you. Besides, I killed almost no monsters. I just killed the ones that didn't cooperate with me. So, in the end, I'm not really much of a hunter. Getting back to what really matters, what do you say? Want to give us another try? <sighs> I'm so glad you said yes. That means I won't need to force you to accept me. What? Did you really think I would just go away if you didn't want me? I've come too far to give up on you too easily. But luckily for us, you want this. You want us together, just like I do. Yes, I love you, and I know you love me. I don't know much about you in this life, but we will change that soon. And I'm sure you know plenty about the past me, but the me from the present is unknown to you. We'll get to know each other all over again. Isn't that great? You're feeling sleepy? Sure. You must be so tired. So much happened today. Sorry again for the scare I gave you, honey. Here, why don't you bite me and feed yourself? I bet you'll feel so much better when you wake up. <laughs> don't be scared. You won't kill me. You're too weak right now, and I'm sure I'm a lot tougher in this life. I can handle a little bite. And besides, I want you to claim me, my love. Even if you end up killing me, I'll come back in a next life and I'll find you again. I'll find you however many times I need to. Because I think I can't be without you. Never again. Bite me. Take what's yours. <clears throat> yes, that's it. Good job. You're so beautiful when you drink from me. I've never let a vampire feed from me before. You're the first one. The first and only, dear. This is all yours. Hmm. Hmm? 
You're done? Already? You don't want to risk it. <laughs> you're so cute. Oh, now that you're fed, it's time to go to sleep. It's okay. I'll be right here while you rest. Maybe I'll join you and take a short nap myself. Or maybe I'll just look at you and admire you. <laughs> God, I've never seen a vampire get flustered. So adorable. You better go to sleep before I do things we shouldn't do. Oh, you know, like the things we did on our honeymoon. <laughs> yes, I did have those dreams as well. Every little detail. I know how much of a little tease you are in bed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now you're finally going to sleep, hmm? <laughs> Let me hug you then, love. Let's get comfortable. Have a good sleep, and rest assured, I'll be here when you wake up. I hope you dream of me, like I'll dream of you, my love. <laughs>